Wow, am I upset. Boy, I just came across this. I cannot believe it. Senator Inhofe's son died in a plane crash. Senator Inhofe of Oklahoma. The main voice in Congress against the whole man-made global warming hoax. He's written a big book about it. He has been out there with the truth on this whole global warming hoax. Oh my God. Well, his son just died in a plane crash. And yeah, I do go to, it was a warning, to Senator Inhofe. The whole global warming thing is a hoax. And the truth is getting people killed. It is, I, I, and they're already out there pushing yet again man-made global warming with the storm that occurred in the Philippines. Democracy Now! Amy Goodman, real champion, a real hypocrite, a real dangerous player in all of this. Because the consensus that they claim they have is a consensus made up of about 60 scientists. There are thousands, tens of thousands of scientists who have put their name to petitions stating that the global warming, that man is causing it, is a hoax. The science... What, what's the consensus made up of 60 scientists? All of whom who sold themselves out? The International Panel on Climate Change, the UN? It's a hoax. And Senator... Inhofe knows it, and he has tried everything that he could to break through the lies of mainstream media and our quote-unquote disinformation media like Democracy Now! Well, Senator Inhofe's son is now dead. And here is the one-minute clip from Associated Press, but... My heart goes out to you, Senator Inhofe, and whatever the reason, whatever the reason your son died in a plane crash, I, it doesn't matter. My heart just is with you today. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Senator has died in a plane crash. The Pentagon confirms that Dr. Perry Inhofe, son of Senator James Inhofe of Oklahoma, died when the plane he was piloting crashed near Tulsa on Sunday. We had a Mitsubishi MU-2 aircraft impact wooded terrain just east of the end of 98th Street here in Owasso, Oklahoma. The airplane had departed approximately 3 o'clock local time out of Salina, Kansas. There was one person on board who was fatally injured. The plane was headed for Tulsa International Airport when it went down. One witness says one propeller appeared to go out, and then the plane spun out of control, crashed, and burst into flames. We got there, and uh, with all the flames, there was no way we could get we could get in close. The wings looked like they had detached from the airplane. Um, it was all kind of sit down uh, all together there, but it was it was fully engulfed, and, and things were you know it was blown up, gas cans or whatever, tires were popping. Dr. Inhofe was 52. The cause of the crash is not known. Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press.